How did it feel doing your first lingerie collection? Oh, this is a tricky question to answer because designing my first range of underwear felt really good to sit down with the team and create those pieces that you've always wanted in your underwear drawer. That was brilliant. Being on set shooting it was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> The initial thought process for the underwear line was having underwear that could also be worn as outerwear. The bras or the play suits will look like little camis underneath jackets and stuff. And as far as kind of shape and style goes, I am someone that since having children, I've stopped wearing underwire bras. They just feel much softer to wear, so we've gone down that route with the bras. And I am not a G-string person. I like full back soft cotton pants because your bum grows and you like it to feel supported. So Emma, are you a matching underwear kind of girl? I am not a matching underwear kind of girl. I'm not, although now that I've got my own underwear, maybe I will be. What is your relationship like with your body? My relationship with my body, hmm, it's generally good, but it has um, bad times, like everyone, right? I tackle body insecurities, I think, just by going through the motions. We all feel rubbish about ourselves at times, so I just kind of, I'm like, yeah, I'm in one of those periods where I feel rubbish about myself. What age did you start feeling comfortable in your skin? I think I started feeling comfortable in my skin after I had children, which is uh, maybe a little bit odd because sometimes that's when you feel most uncomfortable in your own skin. Because all the things I used to worry about, like, you know, what I look like in an outfit and whether my boobs were pert or my bum was small. <laughs> I just didn't care about it anymore because you kind of realise what your body is there to do and what it's capable of and what it can achieve. You just kind of want to give yourself a big slap on the back for doing something quite so amazing.